Good evening, I'm Haley Wilgus. And I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks for being with us tonight. Our top story, a shakeup in the Florida government with a surprise announcement by a Suncoast state lawmaker. After serving less than a year in the Florida House of Representatives in Tallahassee, Alex Miller says she's resigning from her seat. The Republican releasing a statement that says as a mother of two teenage boys who is the CEO of a rapidly growing business, she's come to the conclusion that she must spend more time at home than her service in the legislature would allow. The news came as quite a surprise to her fellow Republican delegation. According to the House of Representatives website, Miller sponsored 13 bills during her short tenure. And while many of them did not become law, she did manage to gain enough support for a shark fin bill, which made it illegal to possess a shark's fin and created penalties for those who did not follow the law. She was looked at already as one of these animal rights uh, uh, activist leaders in Tallahassee. Uh, she's definitely going to be missed. Uh, she played an, an important role uh, in our communities within our delegation. And it just, it, it's just overall very disappointing and sad to see somebody with her star power decide to leave early. According to Gruder, several candidates, including James Buchanan, Congressman Vern Buchanan's son, they have, expressed, they have expressed some interest in Miller's position. And Alex Miller's resignation is effective on September 1st. Governor Rick Scott will have to call a special election to fill Miller's seat for the remaining one year left in that term. That election date has not been announced yet, but whoever wins will have to run again for re-election next fall. Miller is the fourth House member to resign in the past few months for various reasons. Less than 48 hours after Manatee County voted to move a controversial Confederate monument, residents awoke this morning to an empty space outside the historic courthouse in downtown Bradenton. ABC 7's Adam Cellini is here now to explain how that removal didn't quite go as planned. Adam? Yeah, Scott and Haley, based on concerns for public safety, the county acted quickly to remove this statue from downtown Bradenton. They started that process at 3.30 this morning uh, to avoid pedestrians and traffic, during which time they discovered a flaw in the statue. As crews attempted to tighten straps to the 22-foot, 8.5-ton monument, the top of the statue shifted and fell to the ground, breaking into two pieces. County staff says the statue was a public hazard and could have fallen long ago go during a storm or if to pu if it was pushed in just the right way. During a meeting on Thursday, Manatee County Administrator Ed Hunziker described what happened to county commissioners saying crews tried to remove it respectfully. Some locals were surprised to hear how the county chose to remove that statue. When you think of the events of the uh, community gathering, um, that would have been catastrophic if someone would have pushed or pulled in the wrong direction. It's wrong because it's been here for so many years. Why would they just come overnight and just snatch it up? It seems a little shady that they would just do it in the middle of the night like that. Now, the county says the statue can be repaired and eventually moved to a different location as they originally planned. Tonight at 6 o'clock, we'll show you what those who came out to protest on Monday are now saying about this situation. Scott and Haley, back to you. Thank you, Adam. After months of protests and a 10-hour meeting, Sarasota County Commissioners heard the community loud and clear, ultimately voting against a plan to build a recycling center near the celery fields. This issue drew big crowds at every meeting, including yesterday when the debate came to a head. Some say it was unlike anything they've seen before. ABC 7's Jess Dowdrick joins us live from the celery fields with how the community feels about this decision. Jess? Good evening, Haley and Scott. Commissioners say that the large turnout at yesterday's meeting certainly showed a lot of community support. And while that large crowd can affect the vote, they say it's typically just in a mild way. I've lived in Sarasota County for 19 years, and I have never seen an issue uh, attract this much attention. In January, David Johnson found out through a postcard in the mail that Jim Gabbard of TST Ventures was trying to build a recycling center near the celery fields, one that would process concrete, scrap metal, and landscaping debris. The postcard invited Johnson to a neighborhood workshop where more than 200 passionate neighbors and environmentalists showed up to try to convince Gabbard to go elsewhere. Within a few days of the neighborhood workshop, I realized we were going to have a fight on our hands because he made it very clear, Mr. Gabbard made it very clear that he planned to proceed all the way through to the end. 
Debbie White, Sarasota resident of 63 years, was one of those 200 people to show up. I mean, it went through the neighborhoods like wildfire out here. For White, the fight was personal. When she was a child, she says she used to pick up leftover vegetables left at the celery fields after they were harvested. That's actually how my mother made ends meet for a single woman, two children, on a $65 a week paycheck. In the next seven months, the group organized a series of protests and raised thousands of dollars to fight back against Gabbert. We began working from then on letter writing campaigns, email campaigns. Um, we certainly built a Facebook page and we started doing social media outreach. We built an email list. Then on Wednesday, about 70 people voiced their concerns to commissioners who ultimately voted against the recycling center. We didn't want to intimidate any commissioners, but on the other hand, we felt it very important for them to realize just exactly how much community support there was in favor of preserving the celery fields from this type of development. Without the organized support, the group feels they may not have seen the votes sway the way they did. Now that piece of land where the recycling center was proposed to sit, it's still up for sale. And according to Sarasota County government, Jim Gabbert could still purchase that land. He simply couldn't put a recycling center on it. There's no word at this point what may happen. Reporting live in Sarasota, Jess Aldrich, ABC7, your Suncoast News. All right, Jess, thank you so much. One of the most popular festivals on the Suncoast will once again be held in Sarasota. The 20th annual Thunder by the Bay Motorcycle Fest will take place February 15th through the 18th. Organizers say there will be a new Bikes on, the May, on Main block party in downtown Sarasota that Friday night. And the festival itself will take place at the Sarasota County Fairgrounds. Many people are excited to see the festival return to Sarasota. Last year, for the first time ever, it was held at the Premier Sports Campus in Lakewood Ranch. But now, the fest will return to Sarasota, which raises money for Suncoast Charities for children. Now it's time to check in on the first alert weather forecast with meteorologist Steve Newman, who is in for Bob. And Steve, we hear the thunder rumbling. Above us and around, it's fortunately moving offshore. We'll look at that on our radar in a minute. But the National Hurricane Center is especially concerned about Hurricane Harvey because it has the potential to become a Category 3 hurricane just before striking near Corpus Christi, unleashing a lot of flooding, not only storm surge floods as high, a tides as high as 12 feet, I mean 12 feet, I mean that's three times higher than I am almost. Uh, that is something we'll talk more about later, but we have our own area of low pressure with tropical moisture in it swirling across the sun coast. You don't often see uh, clouds like that streaming over our area. And the circulation has brought an area of strong storms that were inland right along the entire viewing area from Anna Maria Island southward to Charlotte Harbor with a lot of blue positive lightning strikes that are especially dangerous. Please stay indoors during the next half hour or so, watching our news, of course, and we'll keep you posted on that. But the forecast for overnight shows that uh, those storms will move offshore and have only scattered showers for the rest of tonight. But more is on its way. We'll have Warren Harvey and a wet forecast coming up in a few minutes. All right, Steve, thank you. An investigation is underway after a fight between two men leaves one of them dead. Manatee County Sheriff's deputies say Anthony Lewis and Oriat Zuniga were staying at the Ramada Inn on Tamiami Trail while in town for work. The two men got into an argument, and deputies say Lewis punched Zuniga four or five times in the face. Zuniga then hit Lewis once, causing Lewis to fall and hit his head. Paramedics were unable to revive him. No one is being charged at this time. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office is releasing very clear surveillance pictures of a woman they say used a stolen credit card at a bank. Deputies say two vehicles at the Inglewood Sports Complex were broken into last month, and the thief stole cash, credit cards, and iPhones. One of the phones has been recovered, and detectives say this woman used one of the stolen credit cards at the Inglewood Bank on McCall Road two weeks ago. If you have any information, you are asked to call the Sheriff's Office. ABC 7 business commentator Richard Stern joins us now. A look at the day on Wall Street and it appears it was a stock market looking for any sort of direction today, Richard. Scott, you're exactly right and I don't know that we found it. Uh, frankly, for the day, the up and down range was more than 100 points, up 58 at the high, down 46 at the low. But we just really didn't go anywhere at all. The biggest move we saw all day by any index we follow was just two tenths of one percent. There was one shining star and that is for a change. We saw retail stocks moving higher 
And believe it or not, that's because their earnings, they lost less money than people thought they were going to lose. So welcome to my world. Let's take a look at the figures at the close. There you see the Dow down 29 points, 13 one hundredths of 1%, 1 closing at 21,783.40, that on volume of 644 million shares. The NASDAQ for the day down one-tenth of 1%, 1 7 points at 6,271.33. That on volume of 1,409,000,000 shares. The S&P down two-tenths of 1%, five points at 2,438.97. Well, there's a revolution coming to the grocery business, and it's coming very quickly. Last night, the Federal Trade Commission okayed the purchase of Whole Foods by Amazon, and Amazon today said that when the deal closes on Monday, they will immediately begin dropping prices of what they called staples, those at your local Whole Foods store. So you're going to see some drop in prices right away. They also said that if you happen to be a member of Amazon Prime, you're going to be allowed to get special discounts within the store, and you're going to get special coupons as well. So if you are a Whole Foods customer, according to what they said at Amazon, you're going to get Whole Foods quality at Amazon prices. That's a pretty good deal. All right. Thank you, Richard. You're welcome. Still to come in your Suncoast News tonight, a hostage situation in Charleston leaves one dead and two others wounded. What information police are releasing about the gunman? And meteorologist Steve Newman will be back with your first alert forecast. And Hurricane Harvey is getting stronger. People across the Lone Star State are now scrambling to prepare for the monster storm. Seven Stock Report is brought to you by Sunset Cadillac. Stay connected to your clients and new customers using ABC7 Digital Media Services. Our team of professionals provide a wide array of digital services to help you get the most out of your website. We specialize in building and helping you maintain the most effective digital solutions for your business. It's vital that your online presence stands out, so our experts will equip you with the best resources available. Trust ABC7 Digital Media Services to give you the right tools to grow your business. When you want to get away from it all, to a place where you can do everything, or nothing at all, surrounded by natural beauty and all the modern amenities you might desire, then you'll want to be here, at the Wannabe Inn, on the beautiful shores of Minnesota Key, Florida. To plan your escape, log on to wannabein.com. It's Lincoln Summer Sales Event here at Alex Karras Lincoln. Drive a brand new 2017 Lincoln MKC Sport Utility for $269 per month or a 2017 MKZ for $299 per month. We have a great selection of certified pre-owned Lincolns. These vehicles have warranties up to 100,000 miles and come with complimentary roadside assistance. Alex Karras Lincoln, affordable luxury. Winner of the prestigious 2015 President's Award. Serving Florida's Sun Coast since 1978. We're located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US-41. Are you currently on Medicare? In other words, do you carry the red, white, and blue Medicare card? If so, are you suffering from chronic back pain? If you answered yes, you may be eligible for a pain-relieving back brace covered by Medicare at little to no cost, shipped directly to your home for free. These medical-grade back braces are ideal for lower back pain, arthritis, spinal disorders, and other chronic back problems. Our accredited staff will handle all of the Medicare paperwork for free. And best of all, your brace is shipped directly to your home for free. Don't let chronic lower back pain slow you down. Get moving and stay active with a medical-grade back brace covered by Medicare at little to no cost. We also accept Blue Cross Blue Shield, United Healthcare, Aetna, Humana, and other insurance. Will you qualify for a medical grade back brace covered by Medicare? Find out for free. Call Back Brace America at 1 800 715 0835. That's 1 800 715 0835. 1 800 715 0835. Everybody can make something because I think everyone has a spark of creativity and the reason that I have to keep making is because I don't think my life would be as fulfilling without it. If you make things yourself, that means you're not cowering in fear. You're out there taking chances. That, I think, is my way of saying I love you to the world. All right, now I want to hear why you make. Share your own Why I Make story today. Visit whyimake.org. 
Now to a developing story in Charleston, South Carolina, where a shooting and hostage situation has just come to an end. City officials say a disgruntled employee held people hostage at a restaurant called Virginia's on King. Charleston's mayor says one of the hostages was killed and another was injured. The two other hostages were released and are safe. Police say the gunman was shot and is in critical condition. The mayor says he may be mentally ill. Thousands of people are remembering two Florida police officers who were shot in the line of duty. Sergeant Sam Howard and Officer Matthew Baxter were shot and killed during a scuffle in Kissimmee last weekend. The suspect, Everett Miller, is charged with first-degree murder. Kissimmee's police chief spoke at the funeral today, saying the officers did nothing wrong and that their actions saved the life of a woman at the scene. Governor Rick Scott, Senator Marco Rubio, and police officers from all across the country attended the service. People across, across the Gulf Coast are bracing for Hurricane Harvey. This storm is barreling toward the middle Texas coast and is rapidly gaining strength. ABC's Marcy Gonzalez is tracking the storm's path and the scramble to prepare for the worst. That ominous view from space as Hurricane Harvey churns in the Gulf of Mexico, gaining strength as it moves towards the coast, expected to make landfall near Corpus Christi early Saturday as a dangerous Category 3 with winds up to 115 miles an hour. The only thing predictable about the storm is that it's unpredictable. From Texas to Louisiana and Mississippi, people loading up and laying out sandbags. I think I'm going to have to get everything off the floor. Preparing for more than 30 inches of rain in some places and a storm surge up to 12 feet. We need people to be aware. That awareness already leading to long lines at gas stations. Absolute insanity over this hurricane. And empty store shelves. Those in the Lone Star State planning to stay put, stocking up on the essentials. Water and food and batteries. Others now packing up, heading from the coast and low-lying areas where voluntary evacuation orders are now in place. We are going to, in the strongest possible terms, as they say, get out of Dodge. And the governor of Texas has preemptively issued a disaster declaration in 30 counties. Louisiana's governor has done the same for that entire state. Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News, Los Angeles. One of those storms that uh, all the right ingredients, unfortunately right. for Texas, are coming together for this storm to, to become a powerful major hurricane. I was just looking at the models and there's just explosive development predicted in the next few hours. Maybe 125 mile an hour winds within the next 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So we'll take a look at that in a minute. But we've had our own thunder and lightning and weather problems here along the Sun Coast within the last hour. Line of heavy thunderstorms is now moving offshore. So I think the worst is over except on the outer keys. You can see in our Van Weasel webcam, it's still raining out there, mainly you can look at St. Armand's out to Siesta with some strong storms in progress. Currently at the airport, those storms have cooled things off. 79, the current temperature, dew point 78, kind of is unusual to feel this cool at this time of night across the Sun Coast. It's all part of a broad area of low pressure. It's weak low pressure, but it's enough to almost kind of see a circulation going on there. And that circulation has brought some interior storms back over us. And look at that solid line all the way up from Anna Maria Island down to Charlotte Harbor. And those blue uh, symbols there are the positive, dangerous lightning strikes that could kill you. So when you have storms like this and you hear that thunder, stay indoors. Don't take cover under a tree or even under a shed. You've got to be inside. Well, on our satellite, you don't often see these kind of clouds blowing across the sun coast. It's very tropical in nature. If we take a look at uh, the, Carib at the uh, Gulf of Mexico, this is Hurricane Harvey, and it is developing a very distinct eye. We'll look at the new GO-16 satellite taking pictures every one minute. We can see very fine details with that kind. You can kind of see the outer band there. and see that Just in the last hour, we're seeing the eye just begin to form there. And it's just going to continue to develop explosively over the next few hours. Right now, Maximum sustained winds 85 miles an hour as it moves north northwesterly at 10 miles an hour. And here is the bad news. Look at that. By 2 a.m., up to 110 mile an hour winds. It's eight hours from now. 125 mile an hour wind just offshore from Corpus Christi. That would be on Friday, tomorrow afternoon, moving inland tomorrow night or Monday. And then it just kind of stalls a little bit, meanders around just dumping copious amounts of rain along the Texas Sun Coast, along the Texas coast. And that doesn't include the storm surge warning that's all up and down. Here's a hurricane warning up most of the coast, a, a tropical storm warning of the south and tropical storm warning up to the Houston and Galveston area. But the first time the National Hurricane Center has ever issued an operational storm surge warning. 
They're predicting anywhere from five to six foot uh, on average up along that stretch of storm surge and a maximum of 12 feet storm surge at the northern end of San Padre Island. So this is really a, a very dangerous situation, not only from the storm surge, but the very heavy rain that's going to fall between now and Sunday. And then once it moves back, the storm is predicted to move back over the Gulf and skirt the coast up toward Houston, bringing more heavy rain around the Houston area and southern Louisiana. This is something we're going to be looking at very closely in the next few hours and right on through the weekend. So stay tuned for the details of this potentially deadly storm. We have our own rain coming our way, too, from that low. Uh, several inches of rain in some areas. I think this is overblown for the most part, but you get an idea. It is going to be wet here right on through Saturday. Next week, things should dry out. And here's our future cast showing that circulation bringing areas of showers and thunderstorms and where they happen to fall on us, that will determine your local rainfall, of course. So if it parts over us, we could get those multi-inch rains. If not, be likely scattered less amounts. Out on the open water, um, it's going to be rough. Moderate chop on Bay and Inland Water Seas, two feet or less. I don't think it's going to be a great day to be out on the water, although at the beach, watch out for the lightning. Water temperature 88, 89. And our forecast for tonight, evening thunderstorms with a low of 76. And for tomorrow, thunderstorms are going to be likely with southeast winds in the morning, westerly in the afternoon, 5 to 10. And our seven-day outlook does show we have some bright spots in our forecast. A 70% chance of showers and thunderstorms tomorrow, lesser amounts on Saturday, and it tapers off by Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday as a much drier weather pattern returns. But it's going to be wet for two or three days, guys. All right, Steve, thank you. Now to first alert traffic. Right now, traffic is backed up on I-75 and the southbound lanes from the Bee Ridge area south. There are the maps right there. A little slow going south of Clark Road on I-75. Haley? Thank you, Scott. In health news tonight, men may want to be careful about taking too much vitamin B. A recent study by the Ohio State University College of Medicine found that men who took high doses of vitamin B6 and B12 had a higher risk of lung cancer. Researchers found a 30 to 40 percent increased risk of lung cancer among men taking these vitamins from individual supplements, not from multivitamins or from their diet. Men who smoke and took the highest levels of vitamin B6 had triple the risk of lung cancer over six years. For vitamin B12, that risk nearly quadrupled. These B vitamin supplements are often many times the recommended daily allowance. The Safe to Sleep campaign might not be working. Since 1994, the program has been urging parents and caregivers to put babies to bed on their backs. But a new study in the journal Pediatrics found only about 44% of mothers report that they both intend to use this method and actually do so all of the time. About 77% of mothers said they usually, but not always, put their babies to sleep on their backs. The CDC says placing babies on their backs before they go to sleep reduces the risk of sudden infant death syndrome and suffocation. Coming up, a landslide destroys a village in Switzerland. What rescue crews are doing to search for those who are missing. Plus, an alligator found an unlikely place on the Sun Coast. How deputies handled this call. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. Are you Goodwill? Yes, because when I donate or shop at Goodwill, I'm creating a job. I am Goodwill, yeah, yeah. 
join the fun at the Weddings of Sarasota 17th Annual Wedding Show at the iconic Sarasota Municipal Auditorium on US 41. Sunday, August 27th from noon to 4, enjoy food, fun, and entertainment with a runway show on stage at 3 p.m. $2,000 in Weddings of Sarasota dollars given out after the runway show. You must be present to win. Pre-register at WeddingsofSarasota.com. Brides and grooms are free if registered by midnight on August 25th. Weddings of Sarasota. Register today. Discover all the reasons the experts love Subaru during the Subaru A Lot to Love event at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Subaru is the best overall brand for two years running and the most trusted brand for three years running, according to Kelly Blue Books, KBB.com. Right now, you can lease one of Subaru's most versatile vehicles, the Subaru Crosstrek, for as little as $189 a month or get 0% financing. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Hi, I'm Joan London with A Place for Mom. Over the years, we've helped thousands of families find senior care, and today's senior living communities have never been better. With amazing amenities like movie theaters, exercise rooms and swimming pools, public cafes, bars and bistros, even pet care services. And nobody understands your options like the advisors at A Place for Mom. These are local expert advisors that will partner with you to find the perfect place and determine the right level of care, whether that's just a helping hand or full-time memory care. Best of all, it's a free service. Call today, a place for mom. You know your family, we know senior living. Together, we'll make the right choice. Call a place for mom right now to get our free ebook on financing senior care, as well as a free referral for senior living communities in your area. Call 1-800-290-0352 that's 1-800-290-0352. Start your day with a new Good Morning Suncoast team. Weekday starting at 5 a.m. Eight people are missing and hundreds are being evacuated after a landslide in Switzerland. Rescue crews are searching for the missing people who are from Switzerland, Germany, and Austria. Police say the town was evacuated and people cannot return to their homes. Army helicopters with infrared cameras are also trying to detect mobile phone signals, while rescuers with dogs are searching for survivors on the ground. After a miraculous survival following her premature birth, Fiona the Baby Hippo is getting her own show. The Cincinnati Zoo says the Fiona show will premiere August 29th with never before seen video of her birth. Fiona was born two months premature and was half the weight of a normal baby hippo. Her survival story will also be told in a book which covers the efforts to save her and reunite her with both of her parents. I just love watching her swim. I She's know. good. Here on the Sun Coast, Sarasota County Sheriff's deputies answer yet another gator call. Deputies and animal services capturing this gator last night near Brookside Drive and Bee Ridge Road. It was hiding in a sewer and they moved it to a nearby creek. Deputies posted the pictures of the reptile on their Twitter page with the caption, quote, maybe it was rain, maybe the eclipse. Either way, a gator was on the move tonight. I mean, they say full moons make people and animals do weird things. So yep. Maybe the eclipse does too. Well, Never that know. one was moving, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, that's for sure. Still to come on your Suncoast News, a winning $1 million Powerball ticket right here on the Suncoast. Where the lucky ticket was sold. Coming up next. Coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. This is an important medical announcement. 
Barred IVC filters have been linked to punctured veins and problems with migration. Anyone who's received a barred IVC filter must receive medical monitoring and may be entitled to substantial compensation. If you have the Bard Recovery G2 or G2 Express filter, you are in a class of patients who should be compensated for some expenses. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential. There's no cost and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to people who should have been warned about the risks of the Bard IVC filters. Call the IVC filter hotline if you or a loved one has received an IVC filter and experienced a vein puncture or required medical monitoring. You must call now. Call 800-329-3089. 800-329-3089. Attention blood thinner users. Thousands of blood thinner users may have been exposed to serious risk by these dangerous medications. If you or a loved one took Xeralto or Pradax and suffered serious internal bleeding, call right now. Call Nightline Legal to speak with an experienced attorney for a free consultation. If we don't win, there is no fee. There are time deadlines to file a claim, so don't wait. Call right now. Call 1-800-554-3987. Again, that's 1-800-554-3987. Are you a food lover, restaurant goer, or home cook? Then check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC 7's own Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blogs, and helpful step-by-step -step videos. And you'll love the restaurant guide with direct links to your favorite Suncoast eateries. Whether you're cooking in or dining out, whet your appetite with tasty tips from Chef Judy at MySuncoast.com slash dining.